Tell me who broke your heart Cause I could tell you who demolished mine Tell me how you got those scars Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have all been doing well. I am back today with a new video testing out a number of new drugstore products. Some of them are new on the market. Some of them I just haven't ever tried. So it's gonna be a little bit mix of both. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look here, then just keep watching. All right guys, so I have no makeup on and I do want to address the hair. I feel like I'm getting pretty close to you know, a, a routine that, that works for my, you know, my type of curls and my hair textures. So be on the lookout for that. Let's go ahead. Um, let's zoom you in and start the makeup. Did that really zoom? Was that a difference? I feel like, okay, no, 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 we're good. Okay, I do wanna mention what I have on my face so far. I have been moisturizing. I've mentioned this in previous videos. This is my new Holy Grail moisturizer that works for sensitive, textured, acne-prone skin. It's the CeraVe. It's the SA Lotion Salicylic Acid Lotion for rough and bumpy skin. But I have that on, and then for eye cream, the Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. So other than that, I have nothing on my face. I do want to, I mean, we cannot, we cannot do makeup like this. I'm just gonna take my little claws here and pin the sides back. And here we are. <laughs> so I wanna go ahead and get started. I do have like a little bit of self tanner left on. Couple requests to post like little short videos on like my nails. So just let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. I can absolutely do it. I mean, it would be a pretty like short video, but you know. So to prime the eyes, I always use a concealer or my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I do have a new concealer, but I can't use it to prime my eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with the e.l.f. This is the 16 hour um, camo concealer. So I was on the Ulta website and I was browsing, you know, the new section of the website and I saw this. So look how cute this packaging is. It's like that holographic like it looks like the butterflies are like flying. It's so freaking cute. So this is the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette and this one just screams fall, which is great because obviously falls right around the corner. Let me swatch some of these for you guys. A couple of these matte shades. Oh, they feel so creamy. Oh my God. On the eyes, <gasps> that's the gold. Oh, we got the shimmer. Oh my God, these are pretty. These are like the matte shades. So to start, I'm gonna go in to the shade Free. Just kind of like push that where I want it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm liking the color payoff on this. I love LA Girl. It's honestly one of my favorite drugstore brands, of course. I have a lot because I'm a drugstore girl at heart. I'm now gonna take a little bit of the shade Rise on the outer edge here just to kind of like smoke this out a little bit. I'm just going back and forth just to continue like blending, but I'm not picking up any additional product. I'm now picking up the shade Wonder and that's where I'm going to put on the inner and the outer corner. Now I know this is looking super intense right now but once we put like that gold shimmer in the middle it's gonna look so so nice because i know it looks super dark so i did deepen it up just a little bit more with the darkest shade in the palette which is strong which is almost like a it's almost like a purple chocolate almost type of color and that's where i needed it to be i want this to be a super intense halo eye and i know this looks super crazy right now just because it's really dark on the lids here. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in just the shade, it's called Highlighter. So now the fun part, I'm gonna go into that beautiful foiled shade which is called Queen. It is a little like crumbly, so you are, I feel like I'm gonna get fallout here. But let me. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use a brush just because my nails right now. But I want you guys to first see it on. Like, oh my God. 
that's 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 like magical okay so we will come back and worry about cleaning everything up now i do want to do a pretty intense wing i just feel like i need to with this look i don't have a new winged liner so i'm just going in with my physician's formula you guys know this is like my ride or die it's a brush tip applicator which i feel most comfortable with so i'm just going to do this really quickly just clean up any shadow underneath that wing For mascara, I do have a new mascara. I don't necessarily try mascaras often just because usually I'm putting lashes on. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. Now, if you guys watch my videos, you know I love the Mega Length Mascara for the lower lashes. So I wanted to try the Mega Volume and see what happens. I'm not getting too much like length. Of course, this is supposed to be for volume. You guys probably aren't even gonna be able to see this. Can you see that? It separated them like really, really nicely, but it's nothing, nothing I will like, nothing I'm like raving about. If you're looking for some va va voom natural lashes, this this ain't gonna get you there. They are the INV. These are the number 25s in the Glam 3D style. Look at these lashes. Can we like just talk about them? I love them because they're so flared on the outer portions, but not as flared, you know, on the more inner corner and center of the eye, so you can kind of still see the spotlight, but I love these lashes, and if you guys saw me, I used these ones. These are the number 23s. In my video where I tested out the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation, I did wear the lashes, and that was when I first tried the Eye Envy, and I love this line of lashes. They're from Kiss Products. So I do have a new primer. I have this one right here. This is from Hard Candy. It's their Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. Um, it's 12-hour makeup grips, which plumps, moisturizes, and perfects now reason i got this i have juicy jazz to blame 100 percent. if you guys don't follow her i highly recommend doing so i'll have her channel down below she does a lot more affordable drugstore makeup looks which is why i love her but she claims that this is a dupe for the milk hydro glip hydro glip hydro grip primer but i'm just curious to see how this one works because i really never use a more like a tacky primer which i know that's like all the rave right now yeah it's almost like a green, it does look like the Milk Hydro Grip. Okay, so this is more of a primer that I am not used to using. Oh, it's very hydrating. So let me get it in, I am so scared. Like my forehead's been doing so, so good and I'm really scared to put anything on there. So I don't think I'm gonna put this primer on there because usually I don't have problems with my foundation up there, but oh yeah, this, this is tacky. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to try the milk just to compare them. You can even see that, but... Ooh, this is sticky. I look so glowy right now, but this is a hydrating primer as well. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. This has been an oldie but a goodie. It's usually between this one and my next pore filler that I really enjoy. I just always need this, right, in like my T-zone because my pores are so large. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is their dewy formula, cream beige, which is this shade right here, which is a little bit darker than this one. So hopefully it works. There we go. I will also keep you guys posted down below on how this wore throughout the day. If I was like super oily, if it broke me out, because usually by the time I edit this video, it's usually like a day or two later. This is okay, so it's definitely hydrating. It's not bad. It does emphasize my texture, but once we get powders, that usually helps. The more I'm putting this on, I hope it sets a little bit. Cause this is this is dewy. Uh-huh. The lights are like shining off my face. Now for concealer, I do have a new concealer. So this is from Revolution. It's the Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer with salicylic anti with salicylic in it. This is in the shade Light Sand. I feel like this is gonna be, and it's definitely like, it's a full coverage concealer. It's like almost like paste. Damn. You guys. This is so I'm actually gonna try a sponge just to try to soak up some of this maybe. I might have to use like a darker powder. 
Okay, first of all though, the coverage. My. Okay, this might actually work. This is a super thick. Oh my God, I feel like I need to try the Kevin Aquan because I feel like this is a dupe. Okay, that really scared me when I first put it on, but I love the coverage. This is my bad eye. My filler is like completely gone, like on this eye. I do have a new powder, so hopefully this goes okay. This is the I Love Revolution. This is the peach baking powder. We have a puff, which is nice. And then of course, you gotta get the little tab and try to open this up for about an hour. This is what the shade of the powder looks like. They did have a couple different shades. Again, this one's in peach. Yeah, it does smell like really sweet, not really peaches. Oh my, wait a second. <gasps> that looks good, the shade. I love it because it's not super white. It has like a, hence peach. Oh my. Oh, I get excited when I find a nice powder for under the eyes. I am gonna set my whole face with this. Oh my God, I'm excited. Look how good my under eyes look. Oh, I love it. So I'm just gonna use the powder puff that this came with and set this face. Now I feel better. That powder is so good. Oh, okay, let's move on. So I'm gonna go back into the palette and take the shade New Beginnings and I'm just gonna just slightly, I don't want, I don't think I want to do too much on the lower lash. Of course, I say that and then next thing you know, like a smoked out, yeah. I mean, we're already there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the shade Beauty closer to the lash line and not drag it out so much. So for bronzer and blush, I have these guys right here, both from e.l.f. This is from their Prime Infused, this is from their Primer Infused collection. So I got the bronzer in the shade Perpetually Tan, and I got the blush in Always Rosy. I'm gonna start further back here. See if we can build that up a little bit. Oh, okay, that's not bad. It's definitely a little bit more of like a warmer bronzer, which I ain't mad about. Bring some down my neck just to kind of like fuse the two together. Go a little bit. I am not hating this. That's beautiful. Going in with the e.l.f. blush in Always Rosy. I usually go for like a more peach tone blush. Oh, look at that. I barely even like had to do much there. Why does that look so good? This is the Makeup Obsession Mega Honey Highlight, which I love, love, love. See how it's just like real subtle? That's like all I want. Now, if you set your face and then go in while the setting spray is like still a little bit like tacky, like not 100% dry down, it will definitely be more intense, but I'm kind of not into that right now. Now you guys know I like a more matte finish on my skin just because of like the texture and whatnot, but I bring to you a new member of the family, okay? I love the packaging on this. This is from Revolution. It's the Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Longwear Makeup Fixing Spray, 16 hour. Oh, okay. Oh! That's not bad. So I really like that. Do you see how it didn't really give me any more type of like glowy, dewy finish? And that did really well. Lower Lash Mascara, I I don't even know if I wanna really try this. Actually, let's just do it. So I'm gonna go back in with the Wet n Wild Mega Volume. Okay, so that actually didn't do too bad. I don't have a new lip liner, but I did get a different shade in a drugstore lip liner that I love so, so much. Um, so I picked these ones up. These are from LA Girl. You guys know I love the sugar and spice one, but I picked up two new shades. This one's in the shade Cafe, and then I have Bear, which are both neutral shades. So this lighter one is Bear, and then you have Cafe. I think I'm gonna use Cafe. So I got this lipstick. This is from Essence, and this is in the shade number one, Freaky. Mm, it's really creamy. 
I think I'm gonna do a gloss, even though I do like this lip combo, and I really like the formula of this Essence lipstick. I'm gonna go back and get a couple more shades. I think I'm gonna go in and put a gloss on. Um, I used this not too long ago for the first time. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Amber. This I've been like obsessed with. So this has a little bit more of like a peachy undertone, so I'm gonna hot shine this on. Oh, I can't. Mm. See, that's what that's that's what that was missing. That was it. Take this hair out. So guys, this wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know what your thoughts are down below. I think what I'm gonna start doing is putting like a little asterisk next to the products that I highly recommend um, based on you know how they perform and the longevity of them. So keep a lookout for all that good stuff down below. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. And also let me know about the nail tutorials like we talked about in the beginning. Thank you guys so much again for your constant support and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!